One of the most chilling stories this week was the death of a former journalist in Somalia. Hassan Hanafi was executed by firing squad. He had been convicted of helping militant group Al Shabaab kill other journalists. Gunmen have long stalked Somalia's media workers, yet still, journalists brave the dangers in some cases even after suffering terrible losses. CCTV's Abdulaziz Bilo has more. Pictures released by Somali authorities of the final moments of Hassan Hanafi. The images have made news well beyond Somali borders and provoked a strong reaction online. Yet among journalists in Mogadishu, it's long overdue justice. Noor Tahlil lost his father to Hassan Hanafi's murderous plotting in 2009. Hassan Hanafi tricked and played an important role in his assassination. After the death of my father, that's when I heard of his name. But back in my mind, I knew that one day he will be brought to book. Me, my family, and the entire media community in Somalia will come his execution. To me, justice has been served. Tahlil became a journalist to show his family wouldn't be cowed and that his father wouldn't be forgotten. Despite the challenges, I decided to do journalism as a career and keep my father's name alive. Al Shabaab will attack and target us all the time, but our spirit will never be broken. I'm happy now that I'm working for the state run radio and TV. Here, I hope to work for the people of Somalia. Following the execution of Hassan Hanafi, most of the media workers here in Mogadishu feel that justice has been served and that the government is finally showing commitment in protecting the rights of journalists. But still, the country ranks among the most dangerous for media workers. Hassan Hanafi was one of the most notorious suspects in the killing of journalists, but many other culprits are still free. And with elections this year, journalists are seeking more protection and an end to impunity. Abdul Aziz Bilon, CCTV, Mogadishu, Somalia.